Welcome Taurus. I'm back guys with another video for you guys. This is for the month of June. So we're going to see what messages or what energy is coming towards you for the month of June. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe guys. Because you're not going to want to miss out on future videos. As well guys, really quick. Um, the energy clearing spray guys this is going to be a great alternative to your smudging for those who don't like to burn the page the say i said page <laughs> who doesn't like to burn the the sage and the palo santo this is going to be a great alternative guys you can check out all the benefits of this product on my website which is in the drop box below guys and you can get 20 percent off on your entire order today guys the code is going to be on the banner on the website all of that's going to be in the drop box below okay so let's talk Taurus let's see what messages we got for you guys for the month of June what messages are there for my Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, Jupiter. All right, we got the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles that literally, like, jumped out. All right, so a lot of effort or a lot of work seems to be being put in to something right now. We got the Eight of Cups and the Two of Swords. Okay, well, maybe you maybe someone isn't putting any effort <laughs> or not sure if any effort should be put in all right let's see the four of swords four of cups strength and the death card let me move my pendulum board over um for anyone interested guys i am doing pendulum readings today guys um all day today we're going to use the board as well my pendulum board it's going to be seven dollars and 77 cents for per question so you can contact me via email if you're interested in getting a, a question answered today all right so it looks like some of you may be deciding to walk away from a situation and this is going to be a final decision if the effort isn't being put in for some of you this could be job related this could be work related this could be um in love but it looks like you guys are disappointed about something here what's the, what's the, yeah you saw something with the page of swords and then we got you guys this energy here Somebody's trying to hide something with the nine of wands. So you don't trust this person. You don't trust this person. I can clearly see that. Yeah. Because this person has been being being a little rambunctious, a little wild. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, um, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting Capricorn here as well. Uh, why is the two of swords here? Ten of cups. Yeah, you you are making a final decision on about a relationship. You want somebody to put in more effort. Yeah. This person, somebody is playing mind games here. Okay, you feel like this person's playing mind games with you. Somebody really is playing mind games with the magician and the knight of and the knight of wands. Yeah, somebody is very immature. So maybe you, this situation is on hold because of that. There's a lot of this person is just in and out of your life. Okay, in and out of your life. They're here and they're there. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, this is definitely work-related. Maybe you're running around with like a chicken with your head cut off at work 
And it's like, I don't even know. I don't even want this no more. They don't appreciate me. They're not showing me. Uh, they're not giving me what I need. For some of you, it definitely is like work related. Okay, we got the emperor here. You could be dealing with the boss. Maybe you're trying to get your boss's attention. We got Aries energy here. But somebody feels taken advantage of, for sure, for sure. The Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Justice. Like, yeah, I do feel like you are definitely, like, ready to exit left, okay? Like, yeah, you're ready to exit left. You don't feel appreciated in the situation. Some of you were afraid to speak up for yourself in the past. But I feel like you're going towards that. I feel like in the past, you, some of you were afraid to speak up. Okay. Some of you were afraid to speak up. And that could be exactly why things aren't moving forward. The Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. There could have been a trip or something that was planned that may have got canceled. We got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands here, okay? So, definitely fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I feel like you are feeling regretful because you could you feel like... Um, you feel like, like this person should be giving you more credit, more appreciation, giving you more... Um, I'm just getting more credit. Like, I feel like you feel like you deserve more and i feel like in the past you were afraid to speak your mind but with this chariot card you could be dealing with the cancer i do feel like things are moving ahead okay queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio somebody here is afraid to ask about something why is the queen of cups here Ace of Pentacles. Page of Cups in the world. Okay, so somebody's asking for a favor. Maybe someone was afraid to speak up. But somebody here could also... Could also... We got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This is talks about like a relationship or a, a relationship ending or funds um not having all of the money together this could even symbolize like a divorce for some who are like in, in a separation because their energy over here is the four of swords their energy is kind of like subtle it is like not doing anything they're not even engaging why is the nine of swords here the two of the two of cups so this relationship this connection this bond whatever this is i feel like you want to cut this situation or this person off okay because for one you're over here worrying nine of swords stressed out with this connection you feel rejected or left out in the cold And I feel like you, you really do feel like you deserve more. You feel like you're being taken advantage of, I feel. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? This person over here may want a break. This person over here may want some time off. Um, they do want to talk they do want to communicate with, with you what are the ones? The Nine of Pentacles. This person may want to ask. 
That's the, why the Nine of Pentacles? Ooh, okay, Five of Swords. Somebody, I'm, I'm getting like you're looking at this situation. This person over here is looking at this situation like maybe you're going through some financial hardships or relationship issues. Like they're just looking at the situation like what's going on? Like, do we need to take a break? Is there a break period needed here? Um, do you need some time alone? This person is, I feel like, is extremely petty, though, with this Five of Swords energy. They like to start arguments. <laughs> yeah. They like to start arguments. <laughs> Page of Cups, I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. Like, this person is super duper competitive. Like, this person a headache. This person over here is like, they giving me petty vibes. You could be dealing with uh, Leo here. But I feel like there's a power struggle here. Maybe you fear that. Like, there's a power struggle here with the strength card and the five of wands. I feel like there's a heavy competitive energy here or too many people being involved. Yeah, even the king of swords. Like, somebody is really really strong minded or there's two people who's extremely strong minded and it's causing some conflict here i feel like so for some reason i i just feel like you feel like there's going to be some regrets about your your home life your being comfortable um somebody here is extremely negative um Why is the death card here? The death card is the outcome. Yeah, we got the tower. Look at this. All of a sudden, there's this big change. Like, there's big, big changes that are ahead, okay? There's a really big transformation coming ahead with the death card and the tower. It could be dealing with the Scorpio. Both of those cards symbolize Scorpio. But then we got the star card right after that. So, I feel like whatever this big change is... I feel like I feel like there's there's still hope. I feel like there is there is some type of light at the end of this tunnel. Like something is some there's getting ready to be some type of shift, okay? Something is life changing or is going to bring in some major changes. Now the emperor here could involve a father, a baby father, or someone older. But there is going to be a new beginning. And there is going to be. There's going to be some type of ending and a new beginning. Okay. Like there is definitely some changes that are ahead. Okay. We got the sun. Okay. So definitely. I feel. I get that. I feel like. For some of you even. I'm getting like a child. I'm getting a child could be involved. Maybe some of you are giving birth. Somebody could be moving. Somebody could be deciding to move in. Or somebody could be deciding to move out. But whatever the outcome may be. I feel like it's something Is something positive going to come out of this? It's going to bring some type of clarity. It's bringing some type of clarity to the situation. Yeah, the temperance and the empress. Someone's mother and father could be involved. I'm also getting like, I'm getting prayers and answered prayers or something like that. I'm getting that somebody's prayers is being answered for some of you this could be involving a pregnancy um someone's giving birth someone's birthing something something new something is growing uh somebody has been oh somebody has been holding back 
but somebody is something is being set free i'm seeing that as well too we got the king of cups pisces cancer scorpio king of wands leo sagittarius aries somebody's been waiting a long time for something to come out but i do feel like something is being brought to the surface but something has been kept a secret or kept on the back burner or in the dark for a while okay all right so let's get some uh romance angel cards see what messages we get for love give me a message for taurus some of you guys are getting ready to have oh yes some of y'all yes 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 some of you guys are deciding to walk away from a situation. Somebody from your past wants to come back. I feel like you're going to keep an open mind about it. I feel like you're going to keep an open mind. Like, you're, you are think about it. But that situation reminds you that you need to put yourself first. Some of you are deciding to let new love come in. And it's coming in very soon. This person is going to be very open to expressing their love and affection for you. This past person that you were dealing with may have been extremely closed off. Um, and like wouldn't give you what you felt like you deserved. This new person that's coming in is going to be the complete opposite. Somebody from your past is definitely... Like, I feel like maybe there's a separation. This person tries to come back in. I feel like you're open to it. But that situation just always reminds you, like, uh, I got to put myself first. For one, the situation is too unrequited. And I feel like a lot of you want to free yourself from that situation anyway. Okay? So, that's going to be the message that I have for you, Taurus. All right? So, if this message resonated with you, be sure to like, comment, share. If you're new, subscribe, guys. Also, guys, don't forget to shop with me online, guys. The Energy Clearing Spray is amazing. It's 20% off today. Um, as well, guys, if you're interested in booking a yes or no question pendulum reading, the email address to reach out to me, guys, is going to be in the drop box below. All right. Until next time, guys. Ciao for now.